In this ZeroWorks review video, I'm going to be showing you the task automation software. I'm going to show you how to set things up and I'm going to share my thoughts along the way. I've also left a special discounted link that will get you a lifetime deal for this software. And if that lifetime deal expires, I'll also provide the latest discounted link. Before we jump in, first we need to understand what ZeroWork is. ZeroWork will help you automate repetitive tasks without code, meaning if you want to scrape websites or you want to automatically reply to people on let's say LinkedIn, you can do just that. You can set up your very own little automation bots and it will run the way you want it to. If you're not particularly tech savvy and you feel like you need some more handholding when it comes to learning the tool, they actually have a straight to the point micro video training on how to build a LinkedIn scraper. And you can find that on YouTube. The videos are pretty short. I don't believe any of them are longer than uh, than 13 or 14 minutes. So, but each one is averaging about anywhere from 50 seconds to three minutes. So it's pretty easy. The video training is also fairly updated. So uh, you won't have to worry about weird interfaces or anything those lines. Now, I did actually try this tool the other day and I didn't have much success. It wasn't doing certain things that I wanted it to do, but hopefully today it might do it for me. Okay, so let's start building a LinkedIn scraper. The first thing that we want to look at is the interface. So we actually have a really simplistic interface where it's divided into the actual bots and then the tables where the bot information is stored in. Inside the set Settings. This is where you would download the software. Uh, I'm on a Windows computer, so I would download it. It will actually create this desktop icon right here. You can also integrate it with OpenAI, so you can access AI prompts, which is really good for when you're automatically replying to people. And you can also connect your Google Sheets document. Let's go ahead and create a task bot. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is open up a website. So we would drag the open link into the canvas and we will type in the URL and then we'll do save. So let's just see if this works. We'll click the run button, it's running and it opened up LinkedIn for us. But the issue with that is we wouldn't be logged in. So we actually need to uh, configure the settings so it remembers our cookies so it can access our cookies when logging in. If we head over to our LinkedIn account and if we install a plugin a Google Chrome extension plugin called edit this cookie. This will allow us to grab all of our cookie information, head over to our settings, and then we can just paste that in, close it, and now this should log us in. So if we try it again, and now it's logged us in, which is perfect. Now, the next step we want to do is, let's say we want to start writing or opening this browser up here. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on web element and now we need to enter a path. Now the instructions according to zero work is to enter in text equals and then in quotation marks, the text found in this post here. So the text found in this button is start a post. So I'm going to type in start a post. We'll give it a delay and do save. We then connect these two together and let's see what happens. And this is where the struggle actually starts happening. It doesn't actually open anything up for me. Now, because that isn't actually working for me, I can't really progress with the rest of the setup. But what I can do is show you how it's meant to look because perhaps there's an interference or they just need to update something. So when they do update it and it's all working in order, what we would do is we would say, right, we want it to click on this and then we want it to type something. So we would then drag the insert text data. We would create a post and then we would just click the insert text data. And then once we're happy with that, we would do click web element again. And this time we want it to search for post. So it'll be text equals post and then save. So in theory, this one automation, what it should do is it should open up our LinkedIn account. It should find this input field. It will then enter the text there and then click the post button. Now, as you can imagine, it was a bit frustrating that we couldn't get some of the basics working with zero work, especially since we followed the training almost exactly. However, these things do happen. And just because it's not working today, it doesn't mean it's not going to work tomorrow or the week after. They're currently throwing a lifetime deal, meaning you don't need to pay monthly fees, but 
it this offer won't be available forever so thinking short term about getting this software is a bit problematic my suggestion is to purchase the lifetime deal and if they if it's not fixed within 30 days grab a refund because these softwares really do come in handy thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video